Well, a happy Tuesday to you. There are exactly 12 games left in the Mariner season, and they need to win about nine of those games. If they have any shot of making the playoffs. The American League East leading New York Yankees come to town tonight for the first of three games at T-Mobile Park. Yankees are 87 and 63, while the Mariners are 77 and 73. Luis Gill will be making the start for New York, while Brian Wu will start for Seattle. 640 game is broadcast live on Root Sports Northwest. Well, San Diego helped the Mariners cause last night by beating the Astros 3 to 1. Houston's lead over Seattle is four games exactly with 12 left to play. Cubs beat the A's 9-2 while the White Sox down the Angels 8-4. Detroit beat Kansas City 7-6 to crawl to within a game and a half of Minnesota. The Twins fell to Cleveland 4-3. Seattle is two games back of Minnesota in that wild card race. Well, the Seahawks, uh, well, they got a win. Yes, they did in overtime, 23-20 over the New England Patriots on Sunday, but they certainly like to shore things up defensively. The Patriots put up nearly 200 yards rushing against Seattle's defense and coach Mike McDonald says it's a combination of things that led to their success. Uh, scheme wise um, some things that uh, without getting all the details I'm, I'm putting on that on my shoulders on uh, how we prepare how we call it um, situations we're putting guys in uh, we can be better on that front me, me in particular and then uh, on the other hand you know there's just old school football fundamentals that we need to be better at in our in our front seven, our edge mechanics, um, how we're taking on blocks, some of our run fits at the second level, um, those things need to be improved. So I'd say it's a combination of both. Up front, the Seahawks defense was able to sack Jacoby Brissett three times. Coach McDonald says they're still adjusting to the style and scheme of the individuals up front. Understanding what type of rusher you are, you, you don't need a thousand different moves. Are you a speed guy? If you're a speed guy, you need counters inside. If you're a power guy, you know, you need speed counters on the perimeter. So um, understanding who you are as, as a rusher and as a player, um, I think that's number one, no matter where you're rushing from. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the blocks get on you quicker when you're on the inside. So um, having having things ready in that contact area just happens, you know, sooner when you're rushing from the inside. And then ultimately, you know, you have to have an understanding of what's going on around you and, and who has the two-way go, so to speak, who's protecting who, who's the, who's the, who's the uh, um, pocket pusher, who's the A-gap push, and then how you play off of the guys that have, you know, more of a freedom in their rush, and that way you can eliminate those extra gaps and, and try to keep the quarterback corralled. Meanwhile, Geno Smith led Seattle's offense to a game-tying field goal to push the game into overtime and then again to the game-winning field goal to win it. Coach McDonald says Smith continues to show he's much better than people think. Uh, that, was a, that was a heck of a performance, man. I think, um, you know, just like Geno, there's a little chip on his shoulder. I like it because it's just, they just keep sleeping on this guy. He's, um, he's playing, he played, he played at a super high level, so... Um, he deserves all the credit that he's getting right now. He's, he's, he's playing his tail off. The 2-0 Seahawks host the 1-1 Miami Dolphins this Sunday at Lumen Field. Kickoff set for 105, and that'll be broadcast on CBS. The local prep schedule includes 20 games and matches today and this evening. Prep Girls Soccer Brewster visits Lake Roosevelt, while Liberty Bell hosts Okanagan, Cascades at Bridgeport, Pateras welcomes Tenasket, Omax at Oroville, and Manson hosts Chelan. Moses Lake plays at Davis, and Efreda hosts Othello. Wadanchi kicks off at 7 o'clock tonight against West Valley. On the volleyball slate, Efreda hosts Othello at 6, while Waterville Mansfield visits Cascade Christian. Or plays at Pateras at 6.15. The 6.30 matches have Quincy at Riverview, Chelan hosts Omac, Cascade is at Bridgeport, Lake Roosevelt hosts Liberty Bell, and Republic is at Tenasket. Eastmont hosts Sela at 7 o'clock, while Davis is at Moses Lake, and Wenatchee is hosting West Valley. Speaking of which, NCW Life will broadcast tonight's match live at 7 o'clock from Wenatchee High School's gym. Both teams are 6 and or were 6-0 and in pool play last weekend at that Sundome Volleyball Festival. The Rams fell to 
Gonzaga prep and bracket play and then to Kamaikin in the consolation match. When Nancy, meanwhile, went 6-0 in pool play and made it to the finals where they were surprised by Davis 25-18, 22-25, and 14-16. This will be the Panthers' second match in Big 9 play while it will be West Valley's first. It's always a good one, so hopefully you tune in for that tonight here on the NCW Live channel as well as streaming on our Facebook page. That's a look at Sports News. I'm Eric Grandstrom. Have a good Tuesday.